Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to our communist run for the United Kingdom in Democracy 4. Now, I've been thinking long and hard about what we can do over here. We are in the grasp, in the grasp of a terrible debt crisis. We have an income of $280 billion at this point, billion pound per quarter, and we are still running a deficit of $24 billion per term. That is not going to do it. That means we are going to increase our deficit every single turn and we're just going to increase the debt and we're going to increase it, increase it, increase it. We are sitting at this moment at 200% our GDP in terms of debt. It's just not going to work that way. I do think we have reason to be hopeful and that is we have a primary budget surplus. That means if we do not take into account the debt, we're actually in earning enough to repay our, the debt interest. If we're ignoring the debt interest, we do earn enough to pay for what we are spending if it wasn't for the debt in the first place. If we could get rid of the debt, we'd be good. Four trillion of debt is not an easy thing to get rid of. A big issue is that the debt, that the cost of debt is very highly tied to the terrible, terrible, terrible credit rating that we've got over here. We currently have a credit rating of C. That's terrible. That means we are spending, we are having an interest rate here of 10% per turn, nearly. And that is the big issue here. So we need to bring that down. And I think the, re the way that the game evaluates that is by primarily looking at the debt to GDP ratio. So we need to bring up our GDP and we need to bring down our debt. We can't bring down our debt right now because we are generating this deficit every turn, except by one, one measure. And that one measure is going to be a hurtful one, but I think we just have to do it. And that is what we're going to do over here is we are going to privatize the state telecom company that we've only just built up some rounds earlier. But if we cancel this policy, we will be getting 100 billion pound in terms of privatization and we'll be saving on costs of 4 billion. Let's do that. That will mean that our debt to GDP ratio here will go down just a little bit, but it will go down. And that might be enough to get us a better credit rating, at least if the GDP is also coming up a little bit due to some of these positive things that we have um, set up over the last couple of turns. I don't think there's much else that we can do or that we should be doing in terms of spending. We could try to push up the GDP by various other means, but there's very little way how we could do that. Ooh, that being said, I say that and then I look at this. And we could actually look for a little bit more in terms of tourism here if we are increasing the art subsidies. It would take a long, long time. It would increase liberalism, which I don't necessarily like. But, oh no, tourism is actually maxed out. And foreign relations? No, you know what, they are fine. Let's see what we can do over here. Let's see whether that is going to be enough to get rid of all of these crises. We could, of course, do various other things, like the business startup campaign. It would take a very short time to implement. But these are all things that are very, very far away from what I would like in terms of socialism. You know what? We're going to go with the National Business Council here just for a tiny moment. And we're going to get rid of that ultimately. But for now, we're going to see whether that might be enough. GDP is coming up very nicely over here. That's great to see. How's the budget report? We are still running a deficit of 11 billion and we haven't gotten the upgrade here still. Even though the debt to GDP ratio is falling, but I do think it needs to fall below 200. There's not much that we can do. Um, I'm going to reject that law because I'm afraid it would decrease GDP. So we just need to be hopeful that somehow we can increase our ability to pay back our tax. This would hurt GDP. This is actually already hurting GDP pretty pretty heftily over here. 
Yeah, the sales tax does currently have an effect there of 4%. Now, that's not great. Business confidence is an issue. The global economy should be starting to come up here again. I don't know why exactly it's not having a huge positive effect for now. It says that typically it should have. So it says that it's only supposed to be a positive effect here. Um, as long as it's positive at least. And it might just start to become positive up over here. I think we need to be a little bit patient to see whether maybe, just maybe, we're going to be fine in, in getting that. It would also be great to get rid of the rare earth crisis over here. We also want to think probably about a couple of things that um, do give us access to the last achievement that we're strive, going for here, the intergalactic socialism. Now, intergalactic socialism means spending a lot on Mars program. Yeah, we're doing that. Um, means spending a lot on the normal space program. Yeah, we're doing that. Definitely more than 50% here. But it also means that socialists do need to be quite happy. They are not currently... Uh, because to a very large extent they're growing complacent over here, uh, which definitely is not great. So that is an issue. So I think we need to boost them up a little bit more here and make them a little bit happier in uh, any way that we can without uh, spending too, too much money, which is a little bit the issue. We are seeing that everything that socialists like is either hurting our economy um, or actually actively harmful. Ooh, Cap CEO. Pay multiplier. This could get us into some sort of brain drain, but I think with capital controls we are looking relatively fine. So we might actually want to go for a Cap CEO multiplier here. That's not the worst idea. Diversity quotas? Nope, nobody really likes that. Foreign investor tax breaks, yeah, these things are kind of nice. Oil drilling subsidies, I mean, these are interesting because they do increase GDP. But, but, they're also costing a lot. Quantitative easing would have the same effect here. Inflation would go up. That's not necessarily the worst, worst, worst thing to happen. But I don't want to actively, actively push for that. So, small business grants. All of this does increase GDP, but socialism would go down. And I don't want socialism to go down. It would take some time to be implemented, so it's not necessarily immediately helpful either. There's no other economic thing that we could privatize and get a lot of money from? No, I don't think so. Still the deficit is large enough that if if we could turn that around I think that would be fantastic. And one way to turn that around might actually be to go much much lower here on the state health on the state pensions. It's a terrible crisis that we are suffering over here but I do think we might have have a chance. Okay, GDP starting to look good. Budget report. At least we are making a surplus over here. So for the first time, we are earning more than we are spending. That's great. Big trouble is we uh, need to hire a new transport minister. That's sort them by your loyalty. Okay, you're not going to be on board for long, but I'm, I'm just going to go with that. Hospital overcrowding is not costing us a lot, so no chance of getting rid of that. The rare earth crisis, if only we could get rid of that, that would be fantastic. And I think what we might have to think about is driving down our technology here just a scooch. Now we've got the colleges, we've got the technological grants. You're increasing GDP directly, okay, so I don't want to change that. The colleges, yeah, I think we might want to drop you a little bit. That's also 1.5 billion. Now, I wish we could see just how high that is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the, the tech colleges here, and we're going to give them a lot less funding in the hope that the technology is going to go down a little bit, just enough for this to be um, going away, and that would help us out tremendously, I think. It would also get, help us get rid of the, some of the other things here. 
So let's see whether that is going to work. Anything else that we want to do in terms of technology and reducing that? Science funding, science funding, definitely not. Space program, no, we need all of that. Nuclear fission is one of the areas where we could think about spending a little bit more money to get to a better position here, though. Environmentalists wouldn't like that, but oil demand would go down. CO2 emissions, that's not important technology. But most important would be actual GDP to me. And 2% percentage point is not nothing, so let's go ahead over here and go a little bit more in terms of nuclear power. We do need to be very, very careful to manage our items over here. Now payroll tax. Could we get more without hurting the economy? Not really, at least not much. But certainly 8 billion or so seems to be a possibility. So let's go ahead and do that. And see where we stand next time. No one is, is attacking us there, so that's good to see. Someone is testing a missile, that's not that bad. Oh, and we do get an achievement here, so that's lovely. And actually our debt to GDP looks fine. And we have the intergalactic socialism, so that's fine. Obviously, if Karl Marx was alive today, he would be congratulating you, not only on your contributions towards socialism, but also your plans to export socialism to the stars. We look forward to the first socialist republics on the moon and Mars. Very, very nice indeed. So we have gotten all of the achievements that I aimed for, um, but I still want to see whether we can drive this home with a much better situation here. If only we could get a better rating, we would be fine over here. And it just looks like that might, might be a possibility if the global economy here is holding up. That would be fantastic. So if the GDP continues to grow just a little bit, I think we might be getting a better rating. And at that point, things might start to improve very significantly. That being said, we are spending a lot of money right now on the Mars program, which probably we don't need that much um, anymore. So let's dial that down a little bit. Still going to have huge positive effects over here. Uh, but at least we can save 2 billion, or do we actually only want to go for the satellite? You know what, that might be something that we might want to do over here as well. So that's significantly less money that we are spending on that, uh, which I think is going to be fine. So we've landed a man on the Mars, basically, in my mind. And that's nice. Good. Anything else that we want to do? Hospital overcrowding? Come on. You, you'll be gone, right? Healthcare demand, it should go down as people are more getting more healthy. Although they, yeah, it's pretty much maxed out already, so that's not going to go down. Parents and retired hate that. I can't help you for now, I'm sorry. We do need to think about getting our economy here into, into the green first. Not much of that we want to do, actually, I think. Food stamps, UBI, no, 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 all of this is... Not for now. We could basically recruit everyone to work in the fields here. You know what? We're going to do that. It's only a temporary measure to improve our GDP. Oh, it's going to decrease socialism by a lot. But that's fine. We will ultimately change it again afterwards. Let's see where we stand. Okay, you have a problem there, antibiotic resistant bacteria. Yeah, we need to take care of that at some point. GDP is still increasing, so that's lovely. We're not getting a rating upgrade yet, but now we are below 200%. So I'm hopeful that it's gonna happen next time. And we are actually running a surplus. So I would be extremely happy. Uh, do we want to ban non-LEDs? Uh, no, we are not going to do that because I don't want to hurt the economy. Which is really, really not what I uh, intended to say in this episode at all. But fine, there we go, I suppose. We could do oil drilling subsidies. Which I think might make some sense. Organization would increase health, but our health is pretty much maxed out anyway. Free eye tests are a very lovely policy, but we don't really need that. Um, it's all good anyway. So all of this seems to be fine to me. Nothing that we want to do over here. Oh, uh, probably under public services. 
What's it, the economy? Yeah, antibiotics ban. So health is going to go up. Capitalists, uh, yeah, that's all, all right, I think. Yeah, let's implement that. We don't need a lot of that, uh, but I want to make sure that there's no antibiotic resistance that is going to develop. So it's just a small thing over here, but I think it's fine. Good, let's see. Rating, rating, airport expansion. Yeah, we're going to allow that. Travel is going to go up. That's good. GDP is very significantly beyond where we need it. So that's actually very nice. And GDP is high. So it looks fine to me. It looks fine. Is there anything we want? National service? No. International fusion reactor? No. No, I think we are fine all in all. Cap CEO is nice-ish because of the socialism boost. But at this point we're just really trying to stabilize things as they are. And it is kind of it is kind of looking okay-ish here. I mean 190% here, that's good. I mean that's really good. GDP is recovering, but I'm afraid that a lot of our measures here are very temporary in nature. Credit rating upgraded, here we go. That's that's a big, big change over here. Respiratory diseases are coming back again. Jesus, we do need to deal with the economy here. Oh, a minister has resigned. That's not a big thing. Uh, a party member has left. That's all okay-ish. But, as you can see, the interest rate here is plummeting. And that should actually mean that we are spending now a lot less on serving our interest. And that means our expenditure is going to come down here very rapidly. That, in turn, should uh, be allow us to repay some of our debt, uh, which would be fairly lovely, wouldn't it? I really liked this to go away. How's the crisis looking here, by the way? Yeah, it's starting to come down a little bit. So that's nice. And I think that is going to have a positive effect on GDP as well. And ultimately, we will be able to snowball out of this uh, quite nicely. Okay, is there anyone who's loyal? Yeah, capital is poor. A you know, really, really odd combination for us, but that's okay. Right. Tax evasion is still a big issue. But we can get rid of that at some point, I think, if we get rid of some of the stupid taxes that we have. Merger, and uh, we're going to allow the merger because it's going to increase GDP. So that's fine. Budget is doing fine. How much are we... We've got a surplus now of nearly 1 billion, which is not actually that that little. And it's still mostly our debt that we are, that we are serving with that. But I think that's okay. We are on a good path over here. And I want to see just how that turns out. 170, we are below 175. Maybe we're going to get to triple C. That would certainly be extremely lovely. And um, campaign speeches, I don't think we need any of that. Internet tracking, um, yeah, we're going to allow that because again, GDP. GDP is close to maxed out now, so that's nice. Respiratory disease, yeah, let's try to tackle that. And we are running a huge surplus over here, so maybe the next threshold is 150, I, I believe could be a possibility. Uh, public services, uh, microgeneration or something? Can we do mandatory microgeneration? We might have that already. Eco, no. It's public services? It's tax, I think. It's somewhat weird. Mandatory microgeneration? No, 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 no. Okay, we don't have that. Public services then? Hmm, no. We could go for some more taxes as well, just, just pile on a, a bunch on the ridge. Is it welfare? No. Public services? Come on, I know there must be... Or do we have that already? And that's the antibiotics ban. Microgeneration? Oh yeah, okay, we got that already. Mandatory microgeneration over there. We've got this stuff. We've got the smart meters. All fine ideas. Eco-home regulation doesn't help the environment itself. Only makes it more efficient. Organic farming, likewise, doesn't really help the environment as such. City farms don't help either, I think. No, no, no. 
State Telecom Company. Yeah, I would love to reintroduce that, but can't for now. Um, anything else that, that we can even do for the economy? Uh, for the environment? Well, a lot of things that we could do over here. Boss subsidies. Metroids would dislike that. Starting to get to the point where I'm not really concerned about these guys anymore. Car usage would go up, and so would oil demand. You know what? We are going to be completely socialist, and we are going to build everything on public services, and we're going to ban cars from cities. That's going to have a huge impact over time, as we know from the USA run, but I think that's fine. There we go, another upgrade to the credit rating, and that should allow us to say that our budget surplus is now pretty nice over here. Uh, I think for now it's it's still relatively high in, in, some, in terms of debt, but at the very least this is trending definitively in the right direction over here. And our debt to GDP ratio is starting to look very nice at the uh, indeed. And we've got another achievement unlocked, so that's that's kind of funny uh, because we are losing a lot of people here. But I don't care; they are just replaceable um, over time. That's nice. That is nice. The debt crisis might go away, and once the debt crisis is gonna go away, I think we're gonna be extremely fine because the GDP is basically maxed out already, so that's lovely. So that actually means that I can get rid of the business thing that I just introduced. National Business Council. Ah, let's, let's cancel this terrible, terrible policy here. I would very much like to get rid of that. Right, anything else that we do need to pledge or do over here? No, I think we are fine. We've got a nice surplus. Let's win this election, and then we're gonna see where we stand, because I think this is a very, very, very successful run, actually, over here. Campaign spending looks fine. We definitely win. Uh, let's break down the votes over here. Actually, a lot of capitalists did still vote us. Let's look at the changes that we've brought to our land. Lifespan has increased. Private pensions have increased. Productivity increased. Electric cars. CO2s are down. We are basically all vegetarians. High earnings are very down. That's, that's to be expected. Uh, crime is going down, foreign investment is coming down, energy industry has um, basically disappeared, violent crime is still there, is not there anymore, as it wouldn't be in socialism, so that's lovely. Uh, technology has increased, business confidence is down, as is alcohol consumption. On the other hand, GDP is up and tourism is down, so that's good. Air travel is up, um, surprisingly. Energy efficiency is pretty well all of these things look pretty nice to me stability health energy efficiency unemployment down food prices down emigration down currency strength is actually up which is kind of surprising but all in all that looks pretty lovely to me now the telecom industry that's that's somewhat um, unfortunate that, that has actually gone up because that's the private telecom industry and I would really love to to automate that but that's not to be equality has come down Ooh, you're 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 being shifted down a lot here, I think, by the flat income tax mostly. But also by the sales tax and the private pensions. That's not great. But we will be able to deal with that over time. Because we have got the budget to deal with that. We've got a surplus of one hundred and eighty billion pound at this point. So that's in thirty turns, so in around nine turns we could pay off all of our debt and I think that's extremely lovely because as we would do that this would decrease that would basically mean that we have around well, let's call that 165 or so billion pounds uh, to do things and for example we could completely get rid of the income tax and that would work so you know what that is I think what we're going to try to do over here expand public pff, yeah why not Unemployment still going strong. Let's continue with our things over here. So currently this is 10 billion or so too high. But how are we looking in terms of technology, by the way? Still maxed out. Yeah, it is. So how about... Yeah, well, it's coming down, though, here from, from the Mars program. 
and from the tachologies. How about the space program itself? Technological advantage, I think this is pretty strong anyway. So let's dial down a little bit here on the space program. Area of telescopes sounds good to me. We could introduce a couple of new taxes, right? Because that might actually allow us to do one more achievement, and that would probably be the very last one uh, that we're going to get. So, and that is the tax on hunters. Now, income taxes. 1 to 90%. And we do need more than 66 of that. So basically, I think that's more than 60, isn't it? Okay, let's dial that up to 61. Let's go for the corporate taxes, which are somewhere over here. One, there we go. And you can range from 1 to 50. So two thirds of that would basically be 33, wouldn't it? So yeah, let's go for 34. It's going to have an impact on GDP, but I think we're going to be all right here since we are earning more money. So let's see. Emergency powers is gone now. That's interesting. Flag burning law. Pff, I don't really care. Let's ban it. Budget is starting to look below £150 here. So our surplus is actually pretty nice over here now. Even though the global economy is collapsing a little bit. I think that's nice. Ooh, share IPO process. GDP increase and credit rating upgraded. So that's another GDP increase. And that does mean that our budget report here is starting to look like a very very serious surplus which I very much enjoy. I very thoroughly enjoy that. We could get rid of the flat income tax here and that would allow us to basically still run a surplus, pay off some of our debt and ultimately uh, be able to get rid of all of that. So I think that's pretty nice though. So I think we could just try to get the Pocahontas one and then we're probably going to uh, leave it at that. So let's see about that. Debt crisis has gone. That's very, very lovely indeed. So that is absolutely smashingly good because that means that our GDP is now going to be maxed out pretty much for a long time here. And that does mean we can actually do a couple of things that are going to be not so great for the GDP. This is actually pretty nice over here. Even though it's... Uh, increasing inflation which isn't fantastic but currency strength is also fine I really like the helicopter money in this game in reality not so much but over here it seems to be a fine idea okay and the rare earth crisis is also gonna go away so I'm very happy about that hospital overcrowding yeah that's a big issue though which we can't quite address so that's a thing but all in all, I think that's great. We could squeeze the rich. You know what? Let's go for that as well. So luxury tax, luxury goods tax over here. Um, let's keep that sort of up over here. Socialists love it. We're probably going to get some something that is going to be not so great for us. Frequent flyer tax. Yeah, let's introduce that as well. Air travel is going to come down. That's okay though. And then we've got the punitive and then we've got inheritance tax that we should also increase which I do think we have already should be a couple of people sort of in a pyramid you can't see that though oh yeah there we go it's very small right let's increase that up to the point where we can but I think we need to increase it more over over the next sort of periods trade agreement yeah we're gonna sign that you don't like us but that's fine and there we go another achievement Notice how the global economy here is tanking, but we are still doing fine uh, because of our debt, debt payments are coming down so lovingly over here. And very soon, they're not actually going to be the most uh, expensive one. We've got tax on hunters, so that's lovely to see. So a lot of achievements being raked up over here. Tax on hunters, if it moves, if it moves, tax it. That's been your created creed recently. Are you trying to get some sort of special prize for complicating the tax code? Code, If you are, consider this to be it. Congratulations. Right, so the last one would only be squeeze the rich. 
Let's see where we stand with that one. Missile test, that's fine. Budget report. Yeah. Smashingly positive over here. And for the first time, we're actually seeing that state health services are again higher than debt interest. And you know what? I think that is a fantastic place to put in a cut and see just, ooh, look at that credit rating. And uh, basically, leave this episode over here. Look at that. Interest rate is falling further. We are running 160%, um, 160% uh, surplus, 160 billion surplus. So that's lovely. That's just fantastic. We could nationalize all the industries. Um, in a very, very short time over here. I think that would be fantastic. You know what, um, let's just increase that. Just for the hell of it, just um, ex try to get the last achievement over here. Uh, declare gig, yes, 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 yes. I don't wanna get rid of the gig economy. That should get rid of it. Rare Earth Crisis has gone. Credit rating upgraded again. Doesn't matter that you're going away there. Fantastic, just look at that. The interest rate is plummeting. We are running such a high surplus though. Debt is in third place over here. Debt is, we are paying back billions in debt um, over time over here. That's really, really nice, I think. I like that a lot. Didn't quite get the tax uh, event here though. And you know what? Another credit rating upgrading upgrade again. Curious to see that um, education is collapsing here. Well, it might be due to the tech colleges being being lowered. That's fine. We can definitely go ahead and actually go and increase our state schools to the extent necessary. So education is now 23. You know what? If we increase that, we do have the money here. So let's do that. That's fine, I think. And we do need to hire someone over here. Let's simply pick the one with the highest loyalty. I think you'll be all right. And that is it. Is it that? I don't know. Right. Demand from donor? Hybrid cars? Uh, pff, no, I don't care. Right, so I think my friends, I think my friends, we have it over here. It's, it's obvious that we would be able to get this under control. That would be able to pay back all of our debt in, in fact, just about over two and a half years, 10 turns or so. Uh, let's call that three years. Three turns and we'd be able to pay back all of our debt and then we could go on a spree of, of just buying everything and every nationalized uh, company. That being said, it's been a smashing run. I know it's been a little bit longer than the last ones and it's been an up and down right over the last couple of episodes. But man, oh man, am I happy that we've got all of these achievements here. Now the next one that we're going to address, that is going to be France. And as many of you know, France is a very laicistic country. Let's see about that though. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.